98 Sports Talk here with an update on Georgia football recruiting for the 2018 season. Uh, you know, when we're, we're sitting here at January 15th doing the, uh, doing the video, which is right in between basically the two signing uh, periods. So we've got another almost a month to go. I think February 12th is the start of the second signing period. So, you know, we're getting close on, on finalizing these classes for the 2018 period. Right now, Georgia's sitting on top of the nation with a number one class. Uh, we've signed guys like Justin Fields, Zamir White, Cade Mays, um, Jamari Sawyer, Brenton Cox. Who else am I missing? Um, Adam Anderson. Those are all the five stars uh, Georgia already has enrolled, not just signed, but all that. Well, actually, Jamari Sawyer and Adam Anderson, I do not believe, are early enrolled, but the other guys are enrolled early. Trey Hill is another uh, big offensive lineman who I believe should be a five star. But Georgia is absolutely loaded right now and currently sitting on 20 uh, enrolled slash signees. And we lost, a, we did lose a signee today, Richard Wild Goose. He was a, he was considered a safety or a cornerback uh, from Miami. He was a three-star recruit. Um, and I believe, you know, I, and I don't want to, I guess, guess as to really what happened, but I kind of have to, but really, really what happened there, I believe is he just saw the writing on the wall and, and George is just bringing in too many big time recruits. And I, I just believe I don't think Georgia had a scholarship to offer him. He had a uh, official visit to Athens last weekend and was probably, you know, I, I assume he was probably just, you know, the coaches, the coaching staff was very honest with him. And um, I'm guessing probably just we don't have a scholarship available to give him based on who uh, we're looking at bringing in for this next, you know, the signing period uh, coming up on February 12th. So with the with the, the the twenty spots we've got locked down right now, the question is is who are we going to add for the next five spots? Who's Georgia looking at? And I've done a lot of research on this, uh, being a Georgia fan myself, and I had I, I pretty much guessed every single uh, guy that we signed correctly during the signing this this past signing period. Of course, we got everybody we wanted. So I don't think it was very difficult, but I didn't miss on any of those. So maybe I won't miss on any of these, although I probably will, because these are a little bit more up in the air, obviously. But what I think will happen is I do think George is going to end up signing Tommy Bush. He is a six foot five receiver, four star receiver out of California. I also think George is going to end up signing Quay Walker who is going to decide between, I, I believe, Georgia and Alabama um, at the end of the day. And I do believe he's going to sign with Georgia. He is a, I can't, I think he's, let me look at my notes here. I think he is a, yeah, I think he's a four-star uh, linebacker out of Georgia, um, in the state of Georgia, I should say. Um, but I do think he is going to end up signing with the Dogs. So I think we'll get those two. That'll push us up to 22 um, we're also in, in the class, we've got to pull in a, at least one defensive tackle, maybe two defensive tackles. We've also got, or we've already got, uh, Devonte Wyatt. Yeah. Devonte Wyatt, uh, signed for the 2018 class, two other names, two other defensive tackle, well, three other defensive tackles that we are looking at right now. Uh, one of them is Jordan Davis and, well, two, uh, Jordan Davis and Tramel Walker, both of those guys have been Georgia commits for a while now. Both of them are three-star recruits. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why neither of those guys sign, but I'm I'm guessing it's kind of the same reason that uh, you know Wild Goose was in. You know, maybe I. You know, maybe we've got something on the back burner cooking. Uh, you know, we're also looking at uh, Rick Sandich. He is a big defensive tackle out of, uh, I think he's out of North Carolina, but he, he's coming down to South Carolina and Georgia. But uh, every, everything I've seen, he's pretty much guaranteed to commit to South Carolina. So I, you know, I don't, I really don't think Sandage is going to be a bulldog. Um, I do think he's going to end up signing with uh, South Carolina. But another name that, that I haven't seen mentioned much uh, for the Bulldogs, but I did see something uh, from, from someone, I believe it was Jeff Centel. He had mentioned the name Michael Thompson, 
out of uh, South, uh, out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. This guy is a he's been a Missouri commit, uh, you know, the entire time apparently. But supposedly, I think Georgia, you know, contacted him, and it you know it could have been one of those deals where he was like, oh, Georgia wants me, and maybe he's now rethinking that, and that could be why. Uh, we have not, you know, or that could be why Jordan Davis or Tramiel Walthor did not sign during the early signing period. You know, again, this is just pure speculation. I, ha I really have no idea, but this is just me kind of reading into what I have seen. Uh, but we definitely got to sign at least one, um, if not two, defensive tackles. So those are the kind of names. Uh, Thompson, Michael Thompson. Rick Sandich, again, Sandich is a long shot, though. I really don't think we're going to sign him. I do believe he's going to be a Gamecock. Jordan Davis and Tramiel Walthor. Those are kind of the four guys that uh, that George is going to be looking at to sign for the defensive tackle spot. And then finally, we've also got to get at least one more cornerback. We're looking at two five-star cornerback prospects, two prospects that are supposedly, everything I've seen, these guys are just locked down corners. Um Tyson Campbell and uh, Isaac Taylor Stewart. Um, these guys, these guys are again very highly rated. My my best guess from from everything I've seen, we maybe got I would say maybe 60, 65, 75 percent chance of signing Tyson Campbell. Um, Isaac Taylor Stewart is maybe more of a long shot, but I would say maybe dogs have I don't know maybe like a thirty percent chance to sign him. Uh, if we could sign both, I think Georgia would probably do it. Um, and that would, de that would definitely fill up this. And again, if you guys don't know each team, each uh, school only gets 25 recruits, 25 slots to fill, um, with recruits each season. So, and you can do no more. That's, that's the limit, no matter how many, uh, players you, you, you know, you could, uh, could possibly sign. You can only sign 25 each year. So again, we're sitting on 20. And we need, you know, again, we've got to get at least one defensive tackle and at probably at least one more cornerback. Um, we already got an adapt Joseph. Uh, Alabama acted like they didn't want him, but I believe they did. Um, we flipped him and did, we did sign him. He's a cornerback, so that, uh, you know, that's good. Um, but we'll see what, you know, we'll see what's going to happen. I do think one of the slots, again, is going to go to Tommy Bush. Uh, and I do believe Quay Walker is going to get the other one. And that's, you know, again, that kind of leaves it down to three slots to fill what I believe maybe one corner, uh, which would be Tyson Campbell and two defensive tackles out of those guys on aim. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some more, you know, updates, some other some other names that I probably should mention. Um, actually, just one. I th And this guy, you know, I th this is a guy that I believe – I, I don't I don't know how we sign this guy to be honest because we've got you know we can only sign twenty five guys and I've already stated you know we've got to have a defensive tackle and we're probably going to sign I, well I know for a fact we would sign both of those corners um, because they're just that good according to twenty four seven sports and everything I've seen they're just shut down corners so if we could get both of those guys I, I believe we would sign both of them for sure. Um, but Otis Reese is, a, is another name, a uh, five-star linebacker from the state of Georgia. He was, I think he was an Ohio State commit, but he decommitted from them and seemed to have a lot of interest in Georgia. Uh, the problem is, I just, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know where we fit this guy in um, with, the, with those 25 spots and already have, you know, signed 20 um, I suppose, you know, we could go uh, Tommy Bush, and, and we kind of need Tommy Bush uh, because we have not, I don't, I don't think we signed, I'd have to, I'd have to look, but I don't, I don't think we signed another, let me look real quick, I don't think we signed another wide receiver, yeah, we did, Kiaris Jackson, um, four star, actually a good recruit, uh, so we did sign one other, uh, one other receiver this class, but Tommy Bush, I think, could be one of those difference makers, kind of like a Javon Wims, um, He's six foot five, so he's you know he's got the he's got the length, and you know he's one of those guys that you can throw those back shoulder passes or just you know uh, throw it up in the end zone, and let him go get it. So I do think that Georgia definitely wants Tommy Bush, um, but he you know again he kind of seemed like one of those guys that definitely wanted to sign with Georgia as well, and maybe there was not a spot. 
So it'll be interesting to see what Kirby Smart and the staff are going to do with all these guys that seem to want to come to Georgia, but there's only five spots left. So I don't know. Again, my best guess, I, I do think we'll end up signing Tommy Bush somehow uh, for one of those spots. Um, Quay Walker, I believe, will get another spot. And if, if we don't sign Quay Walker, maybe it's Otis Reese. And Otis Reese is actually a better prospect than Quay Walker. So, um, you know, but I'd love to have either one of those guys, to be honest. And, and it does look like it's going to be Quay Walker. But I think we'll sign one of those two guys. I do think we'll end up probably getting one cornerback, probably. And I do think it's going to be Tyson Campbell. And then certainly we, we've got to sign at least at least one defensive tackle. Um, Jordan Davis looks like a pretty darn good bet to be signed, but who knows? Maybe, uh, Michael Thompson, like I said, is that, is that wild card in there? Or if, uh, the Bulldogs can somehow flip, uh, Sandage from, uh, South Carolina. But again, I don't think he's gonna, he's gonna be flipped, but if possible, they would love to have him. Um, but I, I don't think it's gonna happen. So it looks like, again, Bush, uh, would be one, Quay Walker. Uh, who else? Then Tyson Campbell for the third spot. Uh, probably jo my, you know, I'm I'm gonna guess Jordan Davis and Tremel Walthor probably for the last two. But that could obviously change. We could, you know, Isaac Taylor Stewart may want to come to Georgia. Otis Reese could be a uh, a possibility, and we may only sign one defensive tackle and add Otis Reese as that fifth piece there. So. Um, it'll be, it, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, what kind of decisions that um, Kirby Smart and staff make with all these, you know, it's basically like, you know, you've got all these amazing recruits to pick from. It's kind of like, you know, who, who do you want at this point? Um, Georgia's just had an outstanding recruiting class and, and just a lot of momentum from the past season. So we'll see what happens. I may, I'll probably do another a video if more uh, news comes out but that was, that's what it kind of looks like to me I've done a, a lot of looking around and reading a lot of recruiting reports but that's kind of where we are at right now with with a uh, an outstanding recruiting class for Georgia so far in the 2018 season and also before I end this if you guys haven't hit the sub video or <laughs> the sub video the sub button go ahead and hit the sub button for me I would appreciate it. I'm trying to build up the channel. I want to do some live streams. I think I need, I think I need like a hundred. If, if anybody watching this video knows for certainty, let me know. Cause I, I think I need a hundred subs to, uh, to be able to do a live stream. I want to, want to do some of that, but hopefully you enjoy the videos and leave a comment. If you guys know any other Georgia recruits or have any good information, leave that down below. Have a good one.